Okay, Coach Gilmore. So OAC Divisionals. Yes. How many athletes wrestling for you guys? Um, I got. I had one kid last session. Uh, I have a kid this session, and my son's wrestling in the junior high session. We weren't able to do a youth program this year, so I got some kids wrestling for different programs, different clubs. Uh, the two brothers here today are wrestling for Steve Elite um, down in Columbus. Uh, I got kids kind of all over the map right now. Some at Mount Vernon, some going to Palmer, some going here, some going there. So. so they're all around? They're all around. So it's been a weird year not being able to do the youth like normal. Speaking of very weird years, yes. the Ohio High School Athletic Association State Tournament Division II will be hosted at Sparta Highland. Yes. It's not not Marengo, but the town is Marengo, correct? There's Marengo and Sparta. They're right next to each other um, on the map. It's And, and Chesterville is just up the road. So we're very, we're very out there. Um, when they built the new high school, they used they started using Marengo. But the uh, old high school, which is where the middle school is, that was Sparta. So literally we're talking about maybe 200 yards different. And Change of a mailing yes. address is all Correct. it is. It's a zip Correct. code. Got it. Correct. Okay. So, yeah, because I don't think a lot of people know. Like, I knew it was you right away whenever yep. I saw it because Gus Seiko told me where it was. Yep. And I was like, no, that's Sparta Highland. And he's like, no, it's Mar yeah. Marengo. Yeah. And I was like, okay, but I'm like, that's Gilmore. And then everybody, your dad, your cousin, everybody thinks you're twins, but your dads <laughs> are twins, and everybody gets confused. Yep. But you guys look like brothers. Yes. Yes. Because your yep. dads are twins. Dads are twins, and uh, my cousin and I were only three years apart, and uh, we, we did a lot of freestyle and Greco wrestling together, and uh, travel around the country a lot in summer, and so yeah, has, confusion. Has anybody ever walked up to you and started talking to you like you're Chad? All the time. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Not as much as it happens to my dad and my uncle. Well, they're twins, dude. Come on. Yeah. But you guys do look like literal brothers. Yes. Yes. Because your dads are twins. Yes. Okay. Tell me about this process. Tell me about the bid process. Tell me about who was in the running. Was it just you guys with the OHSA? And, and what does it entail from you as a coach, your athletic director, your community, your wrestling community? What do you got to do to put on a state tournament? So my AD forwarded the email from Tyler um, when the initial email went out saying, hey, do, you, do we want to do this? I said, hey, put in for it, you know, say that we'll do D2, we're not going to do a different division, um, we get it, cool, you know, and uh, I don't know how many people put in, I don't, I don't know the number of schools in the central Ohio area that put in, um, but uh, it really came down to, can you, can you have four mats, can you hit that number, 224, right, seating capacity, that's, that's the number you got to hit, because you got half the weight classes in for the, for the session one. Because it's 15% of your your maximum capacity, right? Right. We're, we're within that, but then you got to have two, two, two spectators per wrestler. 16 guys. 16, 16 per, per weight, and you got half the weight classes in in a session. So 112 times, four, uh, times 2, 224 is the number. 224 is the magic number. Yeah, so we, we, we were over that, and um, Tyler came and looked at our facilities, and like I said, we want to we wanna simulate the, the state tournament experience. We... we you know, the Schottenstein Center had a bullpen. They, they had a tunnel, right? They have, they have all those things. We can simulate all that stuff in our school. Uh, we want to give these wrestlers the, the state tournament experience that they deserve. So. Were all of your state tournaments, three of them, because you're a four-time state qualifier, yeah, yeah. were all your state tournaments at the Nutter Center? Or? All but one. And then the you were, you're the first year of the Schottenstein, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Because you're Jared's age, right? 99? Yep, yep. So, so you got to experience the two... Best arenas, in my opinion, they've had it at, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, St. John is pretty good, but it's small. Yes. I, I, I like the shot. Uh, Nutter Center was, uh, get to your seat, you, you, you had to walk a mile up up and down the stairs because it was like a bowl, right? You, yeah. Concourse you started level, at you the top. Come down. Schottenstein Center was way more friendly. Um, you know, you got the warm-up area. Uh, you can get to your seat easier. Uh, Schottenstein's a nice setup. So when you look at this, you know, this is something that you really stepped up. Because I don't think there was a lot of people dying to have this. No, there wasn't. There really wasn't. I don't think there was. Again, I don't know the total number of schools that applied, but I don't think there was a lot. Uh, like I said, my AD had the, uh, the, the fortitude to say, hey, you want to do this? And uh, you know, my AD's a basketball guy, and he's done nothing since he came to Highland. He's done nothing but try to learn wrestling. And uh, he, he, he does a lot for, for us, for wrestling. Um, we can get in the gym the night before a tournament at like 4.30 to set up the gym. We don't have to wait for a basketball. He schedules the basketball games away the night before our tournaments. 
Uh, so yeah, he's he brought it to me. I said, let's try it. Let's see if we get it. And he's committed to this thing, man. I'm excited. I'm What's excited. it like knowing that you did something probably for the greater good and not for money? Uh, that's what this is. You understand yeah, that? Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, you guys we're, aren't going to make a bunch yeah, of money or anything. No, no. This is this is wrestling. I love wrestling. I love growing wrestling. Um, it's just, it's just in my blood, you know. I'm, I'm really grateful that I get to be involved with the with with the sport. Um, since since my son got into the youth, it, it's being able to get involved with youth wrestling. I feel like that's helped my high school coaching uh, a ton, just because we're looking at it from a different angle and, and uh, coaching different kids in different ways and uh, get, get to meet other coaches and learn how they're co- It's it's been a lot of fun and. and Doing the state tournament, it, like I said, I just want to do do it justice. I want to do these kids justice. Uh, I want them to have a great state tournament this year. COVID and not, you know, I'm looking at this year as for what it is, not for what it's not. And uh, Tyler wants to get this back to the Shot and Scene Center next year, um, as is the state of Ohio. But but this year we we got D2 and we want to do a good job with it. So you guys are right off I-71, right? For the most part, yeah. You get off 71. Uh, 61 exit, and you're going north on 61. You'll make a left on 229, and uh, you follow 229, and you'll run right into our. You're five campus. minutes from 71. Uh, no, nah, we're a little more. Ten minutes. Ten. So ten it's minutes. Still not bad. Yeah, no, we're 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 20 minutes from the Sunbury exit. Oh, so you're. We're there's hotels with, I mean, unless you stay on Ackerman, if, you know, state tournaments at shot. Unless you're on Ackerman, you, you're driving 15, 20 minutes to your hotel anyway. Yeah. Right. So it's not much different, right? You, you got hotels at Sunbury. You could go down 229 into Mount Vernon. It's about 10, 15 minutes into Mount Vernon. There's some hotels there. If Columbus stays there. open, you can still drive 40 minutes to Columbus. Sure, half sure. hour, yeah. 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends yeah, on how you drive. Yeah, we're, we're, pretty, we're, pretty, we're pretty close to all that. The only difference is our schools are in the country. Yeah. yeah. It's the only difference. Plenty of parking. Yeah, yeah. For, for not to me, mention, it's not really going to matter when you only got two sets of parents. Yeah, well, you, that's the thing. You've got less spectators, and you only got one division. You know, you don't have to have as much parking as a shot in the center had. But, yeah, our campus is together. Uh, There's our, more people here today than will be at your state tournament. Right. Like, right. it's not even close. It's right. probably double the people. Right. So, you know, we have our high school right next to our middle school, and then across the street is our elementary. So there, there's going to be plenty of parking. Awesome, man. I'm just great. I'm so grateful that you guys stepped up to do it. My guy, Rob Gore, Ohio Cast, is yes. going to be there. Super excited about that. We're getting some, oh, we're trying to do all formats if we can, making it happen. Yep, yep. We got Kurt. Kurt's going to be our announcer for him. Awesome. So we're excited that, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get this thing to be first class, first rate, and, and do these kids do these kids justice. Do you got anything else for me? Nope. Appreciate all the good work you're doing for wrestling, man. All right. Thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys. Thank you for stepping up for D2 Ohio. No problem. Thank you.